Welcome back guys on a Friday afternoon for you guys and uh, Friday evening for me 7 uh, 16 p.m. here in Thailand and uh, what well, weather has been outstanding our markets uh, this week have been also quite positive for us I'd have to say not sure if you followed our trading ideas but uh, we've just uh, well, not made a killing but uh, had quite a few good trades open positions and uh, trades which uh, obviously worked out nicely so what are we going to trade today non-farm payrolls time first uh, friday of the month and um, obviously as i can see here that you guys are really happy joining in i see that the uh, participation rate is pretty high which is cool question and always the same here you can win a bottle of my homemade beer if you want to jokes aside um, what do you expect what do you see in the markets how do you see that uh, the market development is happening obviously it's not right or wrong the question only i have how do you see the current situation and uh, how do you expect this uh, going to unfold we have a number of uh, 425,000 newly created jobs that's one thing so market expectations are pretty high at least compared to the uh, previous month uh, in number here and uh, some background information is a bit old it's from this study here from uh, bloomberg but uh, kind of uh, quite some good uh, a deep dive into what we might expect the number in october and uh, that's a job report uh, going to tell us oops wi-fi okay that's my hotel's wi-fi here um and the labor market obviously and especially the uh, shortage in labor market uh, is uh, giving uh, is giving the guys who are looking for jobs kind of some uh, a bit of an upside here which in this case translates to of course if you want to get a job done or if you would like to get someone hired for your company you might um, need to pay a bit more which in terms and that's the numbers uh, telling us here which in turn might um, in terms uh, might change the average hourly earnings to kind of uh, gain a bit of momentum higher pay right rise or higher pay per hour is uh, something what we could see here and this in turn uh, in turn uh, could uh, really kind of support the current market situation with an uptick for the US dollar. Now, as of recently, we've seen that these market news in general were pushing up and us and let's uh, get a look and keep an eye on what we can trade potentially for the day. We're pushing markets into one direction quickly, yet also markets were turning around. Let's have a look here on what had happened two days ago. Um, basically, with the Federal Reserve on Wednesday, the market found some uptrend here and then subsequently was uh, throughout the night and sold back. Basically, the next day the market was where it was early on. I would also be prepared here for this news event. However, if we see and expect that this uh, market support area is going to be broken, we could see a bit of a stronger dollar, which would be my answer also. John says US dollar up or down exactly um, that's the question where I expect that this market kind of could turn towards a bit of a stronger US dollar the green bag as we're referring to it uh, also in common uh, common words here it might show us and might gain some sort of momentum here which uh, could kind of help us also uh, for our open positions so the euro could weaken somewhat further the pound we traded yesterday we sold it at the higher levels and kind of really saw that the market was and still is seemingly turning lower and uh, i don't see anything but that would be interesting and hence i've asked the question um, of a weaker us dollar of course we might be or i might be wrong with my analysis but uh, I would see that the dollar strength could continue potentially and I also have an open trade on uh, since uh, yesterday basically I made this also a trading alert and I'm saying hey we could kind of apply a buy stop buying the market above the high yet on the other hand also we could uh, just simply uh, see and observe that this market again uh, turns back towards higher levels here Japanese yen uh, weaker at the moment for the time being at least here and so of course this coincides with the stock markets so just to uh, give us a bit of an update here i'm still in a short position in the, uh, the uh, nasdaq here i did make it a trade call why simply it's just a higher risk trade and it's highly against the trend so you'd have to make sure if you're trading this market to the downside here of knowing um what uh, this market might do in, again of course here what you can see and what i expect is uh, that the market is highly overbought means everyone already kind of is buying this market indicated by this indicator 
and this tells me uh, this tells me potentially at least that the chances that the market is not collapsing but at least falling first of all somehow further expect this kind of look at these uh, the previous levels here the markets were turning big time to the upside and then kind of really turning lower again some extreme levels here market higher turning lower markets higher again of course compared to previous price points where you've seen a high and seen thereafter a much higher high point is what i expect here we can see a high point right now expecting previously had happened like uh, markets not turning as high here so this is now a new high point of course uh, on the Nasdaq also seeing uh, at the moment or trading at the highest levels in history, 16,470 16, area. And this means together with a on Friday meeting also, markets been trading to the upside kind of all over the recent couple of uh, weeks. Say we found support uh, at basically like yeah a month ago, early of uh, October. And then thereafter the markets were only trading to the upside. Now it's Friday, profit taking, stronger dollar could inhibit growth to stock markets somewhat further as well and could kind of translate to the markets uh, uh, finding some sort of weakening potential and in this case also we could see potentially that uh, the markets might kind of really uh, at least face some profit taking traders before heading to the weekend and tgif thank goodness it's friday might close their books in order to realize their profits and hence we might see that the markets turn a bit lower. Some German answer here from Kai. Denke Dollar wird stark sein. Bloomberg sagt, glaube ich, über 500.000. Kai is believing and uh, quoting Bloomberg also that the US dollar uh, might turn stronger. Numbers from Bloomberg uh, uh, kind of really uh, tell him, at least uh, to what Kai says, at above the 500,000 level. I believe the same story also. I would say and see that this market momentum is looking rather positive and uh, as of the recent trend, and this is what we should talk, talk about also further, the dollar index in general is pushing to the upside. Now, this is the basket of currencies, the majority, obviously the US dollar, which, uh, sorry, of course not the US dollar, the euro, 65 roughly percent of the dollar index are made up by the euro currency alone, followed by pound, Canadian, Japanese, some others also measured everything against the US dollar. And hence, uh, if this market turns higher and we see quite a bit of upside potential, at least in my, uh, in my uh, view here, where this breakout here, the market pushing higher, the last month of October, we're seeing a bit of a retracement mode here. And right now the market again could kind of push further towards higher levels, translating to a stronger dollar. A stronger dollar, of course, in turn would push the euro and US dollar currency pair down, would push the pound US dollar down and potentially even the dollar against the Japanese to the upside, which of course, and that's a the remarkable part here in this uh, in this market environment uh, it could be interesting the dollar against the JP is uh, really moving a lot usually during these market times if you wonder what's happening just some mosquitoes are finding their own end of life at the moment kind of in uh, my mosquito killer here in the background since I'm having the fresh air switching off the air condition here at my home but uh, having some breathe here from the outside Anis, Dollar Jeppy buy star 1407 the 1425 bit far sure can do that I mean you can also enter this market at a bit of a lower level of 14 the 114 level when broken to the upside could be an interesting catch here towards higher levels I agree fully on this so why not uh, kind of if you're keen on buying the market here of finding some entry points or finding an entry point uh, a bit more at a lower level instead of waiting all the way for the market to turn higher to that uh, to that market range so yeah sure would uh, make sense uh, to perfection as well guys what's your expectation please uh, keep the numbers going i only re received the number from kai so far who said uh, more than 500k is what he quotes it from Bloomberg. John says up or down dollar. So yeah, let's uh, let's discuss a little bit. I would be interested here to find out how you see the current um, market situation before we kind of really go into any trading opportunities. If you're asking me about any open uh, trading position, well, I'm still having my dollar on, the dollar against the Japanese yen. And that's going to stay in markets. I would be also honestly tempted here to get another short position in the euro going. The thing which uh, keeps me a bit, uh, huh, which keeps me a bit, uh, well, a bit on the uh, defensive side here is, uh, of course, first of all, 
we have the clear support area which has been somewhat broken to the downside this is uh, where you can see here yeah, support here market turning higher support of trade against here or trend against here again by the way this is an utmost beautiful pin bar candle here something to buy the market on yeah so after this fall the market was really retracing towards higher levels and now we can see that this level is playing out pretty well but the market retracing towards this high point here which uh, also on the other hand could uh, uh, could uh, uh, could really uh, cause the market to first of all put a bit higher momentum in and could cause the market to gain somewhat uh, momentum towards higher levels but then thereafter of course uh, we could see that this market in general is turning again a bit more to the downside here one 1550 area could cause this market to kind of weaken somehow further so two things first of all the upside potential i would say would potentially rather be limited however we are trading on top of a spot level and the question is uh, where the market somehow goes and turns towards further in the near future but definitely the trend is going to be south the market trend really turning towards lower levels here at around the current area is what i would say could be something where we should really be uh, be uh, looking for rather short-term opportunities okay nevertheless i'm kind of really since it's friday we've had a great week let's uh, really see if we can get something out of it uh, two contracts it's a bit of a small position 1530 11530 as always no stop loss since we are sitting hands on near the charts uh we are now at ooh, about nine pips nine pips away i don't want to get accidentally pipped into this position to see the market turning higher but in general i would see uh, rather that this market could uh, could really turn towards uh, uh, for further lower areas here so my sell stop opportunity is what i'm uh, trading here plus of course we still have the dollar a japanese yen basically the same trade dollar japanese yen to the upside means a stronger dollar the dollar uh, here in the in this case against the euro being sold is something what i would say it could be of course and would be exactly the same trading uh, opportunity guys no words from your side that's a bit uh, odd here right now why don't you answer my question with like what you are looking for in the charts or maybe if you're new here of course understand also um, you might be a bit hesitant to uh, see what might work out here for you or what might not work out. Nevertheless, it can't be anything wrong. I was just interested to find out what goes here. Yet, right now, the dollar is, turns a bit weaker. We can see the euro is turning slightly to the upside. That's uh, what I can see here right now. The pound on my other screen also looks slightly positive. So a few pips here, the market's moving higher. Uh, worth noting also on oil, I'm also having a sell stop order in the oil market that also looks somewhat interesting the market has not been triggered again also stronger us dollar could push this market towards the downside a stronger dollar is basically pulling the oil price down so that's also what we could see apart from this i don't see anything major which i would like to trade here during the current market situation so let's uh, zoom in a little bit more and see how markets react well, again, I'm in the long position already here. If you are keen, obviously a buy stop order would be something interesting. Also, Anis was quoting me here in this case and saying 14, 14 or 10 could be something interesting also. So the upside doesn't need to be very much to this at this higher level. John, so will we see a drop with gold? The question is on how gold moves. Gold is seemingly slightly less reactive at the moment to the dollar. So yeah not so much all right a couple of seconds to go let's see what goes nothing much pretty much non event here what's the number telling us okay Interesting. Oh. um <clears throat> 5 30 okay so much better than expected reading our euro is tanking okay that's looking good for us our dollar jeppy is uh, moving to the upside but the market again retraces a bit two things now we might see might see another retracement a bit higher so it's not really anything much which goes here to be utterly honest the markets are not really moving somehow a lot let's see what we can get here a few bucks okay now we can see so dollar jeppy turning higher and uh, yeah 1528 and we are now at 1522 so we're like counting tips 
counting bits and pieces and uh, this looks quite good for now okay it looks like a weaker euro or like a stronger dollar as uh, expected all right can we get another 200 bucks out of this trade would be cool and let's call it a friday guys thanks for tuning in everyone and uh, the other position we keep on i'll leave the uh, dollar jappy still on i think uh, this was it pretty of a bit of a boring session probably but at least uh, we could uh, at least make a few dollars here with this one trade we still have the dollar japanese yen on which is why i'd like to call it a weekend first of all it's been a long week here many webinar sessions also the uh, uh, news events which we've had the federal reserve we had the bank of uh, england and we still have our dollar japanese trade on which looks like potentially turning further to the upside thanks everyone all the best here and oh john okay drop in gold um yeah a little bit okay it's been kind of slightly reactive hoping it's not turning too much to the downside but uh, we'll see how and assess for next week what goes potentially also our oil trade might get triggered but uh, we made a few dollars here which is cool and i think everything so far should be good happy weekend everyone take care everyone see you next week on monday take care bye bye